Hi, if you've gotten this far, you've probably watched all the frequently asked questions stuff, which is good, but we're behind the scenes here at the firm because we want to give you the real inside scoop. These are the should ask questions. These are the questions that even our savviest clients don't know to ask. But we know as lawyers that focus our practice on trusted estates planning and do a lot of work for sophisticated families, the stuff that you don't know to ask, and that's what we're going to do right now. Welcome back to the should ask questions, the questions that sophisticated clients really need to ask but don't even know that they should be asking. And, and some of my clients, you could tell they're trying to protect grandchildren, but one of the things that very sophisticated families do is they set up generation skipping trusts. They set up trusts that allow their children to use assets, but then protect them for multiple generations. What are they protecting them from? They're protecting them from lawsuits. They're protecting them if one of those children or grandchildren goes into a, a dangerous business or a business where people get sued all the time. They're protecting them from lawsuits arrive, arising from simple things like an accident in a home or in a car. These types of trusts can, they don't always have to just take the money and skip it to the grandchildren. Most of my families don't want to do that no matter how much wealth they have. But many, many families are interested in skipping taxation, not only in their estate, but in their children's estate, or maybe for many generations. These are called generation skipping transfer tax exempt trusts. It's sophisticated, it's complicated, but it often does many, many things that clients want there's a price to pay, which is when you have these types of trusts, your children and their trustees, in many cases, will have to uh, keep certain tax records and will have to file tax returns and will have to keep accounting in a certain way. But I look at that in my own case as relatively inexpensive insurance. It's a very inexpensive insurance premium to make sure that assets get perpetuated from one generation to the next. And where we have sophisticated families with family businesses or vacation homes or homes or property that have been in the family, artwork for a long, long time, these techniques can and should be considered. You just need to find the right person to talk you through these techniques and give you the real pros and cons so you know, is the price I'm paying worth the benefit I'm getting for myself? Self and my family. I hope that helps. Thanks. If you liked that video, if you enjoyed it, if you found value in it, if it gave you information you didn't know about before, then you're going to want to see the other videos. We have some of the most frequently asked questions that clients ask lawyers on the topic of sophisticated estate planning and estate planning for families that have family owned businesses and family owned vacation homes. If you'd like a lot more, including the questions that you should be asking and maybe don't even know to ask, but that we as lawyers know you should be asking, then just sign up, click on the link below, and we're gonna send you a ton more videos, frequently asked questions that you need to know the answers to to succeed as a family in your sophisticated estate planning, and maybe more importantly, the should ask questions, the questions that you don't even know that you should be asking. Thanks again, click on that link and enjoy.